first step towards permanent closure in this year is to ensure that we're ready to take the next step for any necessary restoration and mitigation as quickly as possible. So today I'm redirecting $15.4 million from existing appropriations at the EP to be used for innovative technologies to pre-treat water at the site for nutrients so that in the event that further control discharges are needed, any potential adverse environmental impacts such as algal blooms and fish kills are mitigated. Innovative technology companies are currently on site and ramping up production to ensure any water that could be required to leave the site is treated to reduce nutrients.